Hey guys, Andrew here and welcome back to my channel. So if you don't know what I do by now, basically if it's Canadian, I want to talk about it. So yeah, Zellers has opened up again and if you remember a few months ago, I posted a video talking about it. So now that the store is open to the public, I decided to come back and just share some of my thoughts on the store. I went to the Rideau Center location in Ottawa and I went on the opening day. Okay, so aside from the branding, this feels like it's a whole new operation. The one thing I noticed most about it was Anko. Anko seemed to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting for the store. They're the new in-house brand and basically most of the products, I'd say like 70%, were Anko branded products. And as much as that might sound negative, I didn't mind it. I mean, going in there, I was expecting prices to be a little bit steeper, but I was pleasantly surprised. I picked myself up a water bottle for $8, that's two liter, a diffuser for $8, a hoodie for $25, and I also got a coffee table for $80. So all in all, I got a lot for how much I spent. And I understand that obviously because this isn't a full-blown store, this is just a section of a bigger store in a mall, people are disappointed, but to me, I kinda had my expectations tapered. I think a lot of people like to remember Zellers from the 90s or whenever they were younger, and they forget that we're living in the age of e-commerce. Online stores do so much, and it's kinda hard for big box stores to compete, because they have to do everything all those other little guys do and keep customers just as happy. But I was okay with the store. There were a few disappointments. For starters, despite having Zeddy branded everywhere, there were no Zeddy teddy bears. There were no Zeddy figurines. Basically, he was just there in logo form. There wasn't even a guy in the costume. Now, they did have a food truck, but unfortunately, in my location, they were not able to get it running in time to serve, so I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get to try that, but that's it. All in all, I get that there's a lot of people disappointed, but to me, the store was just, it's okay. It wasn't anything to rave about, but it's also nothing to get upset about. I enjoyed the items I got, and I really like my table, but at the same time, I can understand that people were hoping for more. Now, do I see myself going back there? Honestly, yes. I was very happy with the quality of my coffee table and I could see myself picking up some more housewares. And that's where I feel like this store really shines is Anko does a good job when it comes to housewares. So yeah, I could see this definitely being the place to go if you're moving into a new apartment and need stuff or if you're a college kid moving out for the first time. But will it ever be like it was? Probably not, but it was nice to reminisce and just get a little blast from the past. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Hey, just you do you. All right, I'm Andrew and I'll see you later.